What's up, Outdoor Pandas? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I bought myself a pair of binoculars. Uh, you know, a pretty affordable set by Next Gadget, 10 by 50 for everything, including uh, apparently watching F-16, fighting falcons, or lovingly called the Vipers by the pilots. Uh, really has nothing to do with that, but I guess uh, they have some tactical, like, things on the box, but, you know, just for me, for creeping around the neighborhood and spying on people, bird watching, you know, taking out insurgents. Comes with instructions. Thing moves out, kind of swivels out to fit all your eye, uh, dis different pupillary distances. Kind of standard binocular format. And here it is, comes in this nylon pouch. Finished material, but pretty rugged. It looks like there's a little vinyl strip over here. And inside, it looks like we also have a shoulder strap. So if you do want to use these for ornithology, a little hiking, something like that, you can see here attached. Again, uh, this nylon is probably robust enough. It's kind of like day pack type of webbing. So you can adjust that and throw it over your shoulder. And then inside, we have the binoculars, not monoculars you have two oculars. So there it is. That's cool. I like it. 10x50. I think what uh, 10x magnification 50 millimeter tubes. Next gadget right there. We do have rubber covers over the eyepieces which come off and they're tethered together. And then it looks like we have rubber caps over both of the binocular portions. That's kind of nice. Everything is right up here. Like all this is rubberized. It's got a nice feel without being like hard plastic or hard metal. Uh, this is all metal right here. We have a rubber piece there, rubber here, and some kind of big grippy features, nice textured features. So it feels good in the hand. Rubber pieces all the way around the eye pieces here. And then obviously looks like we have a couple of loops here. So if you wanted to put a lanyard or something like that on there and then it does move out like this and then we have this rolling piece which should move the eyepieces out and in as you can see right there so focus and then sometimes these move too to really kind of do a micro focus so now they they look and feel like legit binoculars if we're going to that ball game or something like that. Uh, the question is, how well do they work? Nice soft eyepieces there. Kind of see the anti-reflective or whatever coating they put on the glass. Looks a little green. A little bit of a blue shimmer there. Uh, but the key is, how do they work? So let's see if we can do this. Like I said, I always apologize a little bit because I just use my phone held, holding up to it. But let's take them outside and check them out. All right, guys, so I'm going to try to do my best with holding the camera up to these binoculars. But, man, uh, I will tell you, I've been playing around with them and looking through them. And I've got them focused on here on this tree line, which I will show it to you kind of without the binoculars here in a second. So I've really kind of dialed it in based on my eyesight. Now, we are looking into the sun, and that's kind of a little bit of an issue. But, man, I will tell you, just from using these a little bit here... Um, the resolution is great. I don't know if that'll carry over to, you know, the video capture here, but I can really see individual needles, leaves, you know, texture on the trees. It's really kind of amazing. And the other thing I will tell you, at least in real life and real usage, the color representation is super accurate. I mean, it, you know, I tend to look through things like, you know, some of my old binoculars and binoculars and um, even, you know, ski goggles and everything else. And because of the coatings, you tend to get a little bit of a tint or a color shift on it, but nothing on this. It really looks exactly like, you know, what I'm seeing in real life without the, the goggles or the binoculars. Now, you can focus these using the macro and the micro focus to kind of hone in, say on that second tree line behind it. But I just kind of wanted to show you, I don't know if you can see it there, but just really unbelievable. And so here, I'll show you kind of in real life. This is what I'm seeing without them. And obviously you're not gonna get any of that detail right without those binoculars and you can see here i was shining almost looking right into the tree i could probably looked over here a little bit better we'll see if we can get some footage of that uh without 
the sun blocking our vision so much or interfering with our vision but um, just really really great uh, for a pair of you know affordable binoculars for your trip I think the um, it's always taking my camera a little while to focus uh, I think these will be great to take on your trip you know these will be perfect for your bug out bag for your backpacking trip for camping for a day hike uh, you know pretty awesome as you can see there much better than the human eye you can see it's taking a while to focus now back but um, I really like them I'll put a link to them in the description but uh, really impressed with these binoculars I mean they feel great work well and I gotta say I like them I like them a lot Peter Ron Band out